he was getting the best of care that was available. I saw that everyone around him affiliated with Oak Bend was very caring, very able, knew what they were doing. Uh, I was very impressed. When I saw that in the local paper, I was very excited because my husband spent about nine days in skilled nursing after he'd had a surgery that had to be performed in Houston. And that experience was very, very good. He was very pleased. He was very happy. And if he was happy, then I was happy. And so when I saw that there was going to be, hopefully, and we sincerely pray that it will be, a facility for people like him who need acute care and need a really more, uh, I don't know exactly the word, I guess possibly a, a more uh, a fit facility that is more in tune with what needs to be done. Well, I think that having the acute care facility will be very advantageous to the entire community because as we are all aging, we never know when we might be in need of a facility of that caliber where we know we will be treated by professionals who are very knowledgeable and know what they're doing. I think the number one thing would be would be the staff uh, that would you know treat people with dignity and caring and uh, I think that that's probably the number number one important thing and then the skill uh, I just think that uh, anybody that's getting older uh, and uh, like I said, I asked my husband what, what happened to middle age. I think I missed it somewhere. <laughs> but uh, anyway, just people coming in and uh, they just need the, the loving care that uh, I always I always was told, my sister really told me, she said, you don't let your loved ones go to the hospital by themselves. But I really think that if you had somebody that was caring and loving and skilled, that um, they wouldn't have any problems uh, letting, letting them be there. We've watched the hospital grow, and then with the new hospital, it seems like uh, uh, I remember uh, they opened it up and they had the, uh, the new uh, place where they had the child birthing, where they can have the child birthing in the rooms and that type of thing. And um, it just seems like uh, the doctors were our, our top quality and uh, met a lot, of, a lot of them that um, have all moved here because they they love the community and they love Fort Bend County. Well, I, I'm kind of in awe that I'm included with all these these special ladies. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, Billy Went has always been my hero. She's such a fine lady, and uh, and all the rest of them, I just uh, I look up to them. And I, like I said, I. I don't know what I'm doing there, but uh, I'm having fun <laughs> being included. And um, uh, I know when we went out to, to uh, Pat Abear's house and she showed us where she does all of her patchwork, her quilts and that type of thing. And I thought to myself, how special to have, uh, have something like this in Fort Bend County. And uh, I'm, I'm just hoping and praying that uh, it'll get started and because our, uh, our, our age group is, is aging and uh, I really think that, uh, of course, I don't know what's coming up with, with the insurance and that type of thing, but I really think that it's going to be, uh, this is going to be a, a fantastic uh, thing for our community, for people to be taken care of in their older, older advanced years. The 
this is going to be very special to, to hang in the unit and uh, just, just to, for that Pat's made it is uh, is fantastic. It's going to be gorgeous. And I hope everybody buys a, a little piece of the patches. We've always used this hospital, whether it be something minor, all of our tests. I go to a doctor in Sugarland, and I have my blood work done here at Oak Bend, and mm -hmm. she says that's fine. And so I really have. I've always supported it. My family's always supported it. And you know, and going to all those hospital trustee things, I learned that the hospital business is a complicated business. But I also learned that it's a problem-solving business. Both my sons were born in Oak Bend. And my mother, my father, and my mother-in-law were all here the last days of their life. Uh, my mother-in-law and my mother spent some time in skilled care. And our new ACE unit would have been a great blessing for them. It really would have been. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it's exciting. Well, I came here to Oak Bend for the heart catheterization. And uh, immediately were to, was to go into having the stents, but it was a little more complicated. So on, that was on Thursday. On Friday, I had my blood work done, uh, where I was going to have the surgery, and on Monday morning, I was on the operating table. And I truly, truly believed it saved my life. You know, like I say, my, my father died of a stroke at 48. My mother had triple bypass surgery at 72. My little brother passed away suddenly at his home at 63. So. I had a family history, and both sides of the family. So I feel like that testing sent me into action that saved my life, I really do. I've always been involved in the community. I feel like giving back is important. I really think that our hospital is an important part of our community, and I think our community is beginning to support our hospital. I really do. We've grown, uh, we have everything here that a small town could ever want, and I really do think that our community is beginning to support our hospital more and more. The patchwork of light is, is exciting. Of course, the, the goal is exciting, to have that unit, acute el care for the elderly. And I think that's really important, and as I say, my family could have used that. The hospital. It's been my passion since, well, just been on the board. I guess he's in close to his 30th year. And I've always participated. We've always used this hospital. We've always believed in this hospital. And the doctors at this hospital, we just think it's just the best right here. He was stung by hundreds of bees one day and he almost died at home, but the ambulance came and, and got him breathing again and took him to Oak Bend and basically saved his life. It was really scary for quite a while, for several days, because they said his kidneys shut down and it was looking really bad, but it got better and they let me stay in the intensive care with him and they were just wonderful to him. They really were. I think it's wonderful. I think I'm going to need it before long, the way things are going with me. But I think it's a great opportunity for the county to have that facility so close. 
I was born and raised here and I know so many people in the surrounding areas and I tell everybody you need to just go to Oak Bend, it's right here. Everybody's wonderful there, they treat you like gold. And it's a very nice experience if you have to be in the hospital and if you're gonna be a senior citizen and what they're trying to do with that is a wonderful thing to make it more comfortable for elderly people. Well, first I'd like to thank the hospital for letting me talk because I have been there for a long time. I was on the board for 14 years. And before that, I knew from the time it was opened that I knew everything about it for a long time. But in the meantime, I knew people who were there and um, I was not a patient until I had a heart attack. And I had it here. I called my daughter to take her. We took over there, and they got me just in time to use the paddle because my heart stopped. It stopped again when they sentenced me on the Hattacum to Houston, and then it stopped again later. So I was really a case study, but I loved it so much because they saved me. I was there when they did it the first time. After that, I really enjoyed the board because I was the first woman there except for uh, Mamie George who gave the hospital. But we also had a doctor whose name Nancy was Dickey and she uh, told the board they needed a woman on the board. So I was the woman. I was the woman for 14 years, which was amazing because they let me do things that I really wanted to do. I wanted to, everything to look much better. We changed some pictures on the walls. We did other things. We made the outside um, patios for the patients, uh, the inside for the, the uh, skill care patients. We had a wonderful time, but they let me do what I wanted to. After that, I was there for friends, but then he beat, my husband came. And the first time, he had uh, his esophagus ruptured when they tried to make it larger. You know, it looks like a donut, but it ruptured underneath. He was in, they had to send him to, to uh, West Houston because that's where the doctor was who did that. And he was there for two days, two, two, two weeks and not a single drop of water could go down. They used a feeding tube and only a tiny bit of ice once in a while, that's all. But it came back to um, Oak Bend and went into the skills care. He was there for two weeks. And other things came in the meantime, so he was there for a long time. But wonderful he was, he was so taken so well cared for. And though they took care of the feeding coop, and then they later made food for him that he could eat where he still couldn't swallow very much. But that was wonderful. We went along fine, just fine, fine, till after a while he got other things. And he was taken care of so beautifully that I tell people, all the time, you're, you're missing something if you do not know any that about Agrippin. It is so outside, it's so close to us. And we already, uh, we all have a place there for us. And I, I tell my family, send me to open. God bless Open.